Gotta get your Eden sets in. Uh, that's just <clears throat> kind of what you do every once in a while. And by every once in a while, I mean specifically. Uh, like every three or so runs that I do. Every two or three runs I do on Isaac, uh, I play Eden. And today is one of those days. And yes, I, I have no shame in admitting I held R until I got a good starting item. I wasn't really aiming to get 2020. Uh, it's just kind of cool that it happened, I suppose. And oh boy, now I gotta collect this shit with uh, low speed. I love it. I love my life. I love doing this. This is great. Oh, thank God it didn't take me long. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good day and all that good stuff, right? Oh, everything's going all right. Hope you uh, gave your mom a hug today uh, or something like that. Or your grandma, if you're still capable of doing so. If not, you should at least call her. I'm sure your grandma will be very happy to have a call from her grandchild uh, asking about, well, how her day's been and all that. I'm just saying, I'm just giving advice. I'm leading people to a treasure I cannot possess, okay? I'm giving advice that I can't possibly follow through on because I don't have a grandma anymore. <laughs> Live with that. Oh, yeah, I installed, like, the little mod that shows little charge bars for items that uh, normally don't have them, and I guess placenta is one of them. Cool. Okay, that's nice. Is there... I don't really need placenta. Is there a config for that? Hold on. Yeah, I think this is gonna be nice. There you go. I don't need that one, right? Might as well disable it. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking the fact that you can configure that. That is very, very kind of the mod developer. Thank you very much. I should be looking for my secret room here. It's probably not here, actually. It's probably actually here. I was gonna say it's gotta be up there, but that would have been very much an exaggeration. I... Do not mind at all getting myself a little bit of a sack head here. Hmm. Hit me with this stars card straight away. Nancy bombs. Now, I'll go for the mystery item here. Bozo! Bit of a damage up, plus uh, one of the best con costumes in the game, thanks to a mod, but still. It, it... Joker. Oh, well. Holy shit. Holy shit, Bozo! What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Holy what the hell? What are these payouts? I- I should have done this way sooner. What the- <laughs> I just went from like no money. I had 14 cents before I started that play. I have a nice amount of money now. What the <laughs> hell just happened? Oh my goodness. Wowie. Uh, turns out Bozo is a cracked item and I didn't just get like really lucky for no reason. No, that was definitely all Bozo's doing. I, I don't want little bag. Is that a chaos card? It's not even a chaos card. It's ancient recall. Well, I guess this fight lets me find my secret room. It's down here. What a weird place for it to be. Okay, sure. What else do I have? Not a stars card and a chariot. Okay, I guess I'll carry the stars. Might as well blow this guy up even though I don't need more money. Matter of fact, I'm gonna donate a bit. You know what? That's a good idea. I've been rude to my donation machine in recent times. So, just stocking it up a little bit, when you've been given virtually an infinite money glitch with Bozo and IV bag, uh, kind of just working that like that, then why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you abuse that? Infinite money glitch. Just like raising the rent on a single mother of three, uh, <laughs> is an infinite money glitch. <laughs> there's, there's other ways to do it as well. God, thank God I'm not a landlord, even though I technically by definition am a landowner, aka my parents own the house we live in and I will inevitably inherit it. I am, by definition, a landowner. I'm not a landlord, okay? It, I'm not renting it out. Th th that's like one of the most universally disliked groups in the world, right? I think literally everybody in at least Western society kind of universally agrees that they hate landlords, which uh, I think makes them one of the most oppressed groups in the world, <laughs> even more so than gamers. Honestly, quite appalling if you ask me. Have they overtaken gamers yet? What's the second most oppressed group after gamers, I wonder? Marco's veins, well, yay. What a great item. <laughs> Hooray. I am so excited for this. Thank you so much, game. I think, I think we should start tipping our landlords. I can only make this statement because I am neither. I am neither a renter nor a landlord. So I can, I can make this statement out of sheer malicious intent because I think it's funny. But we should totally start tipping landlords. T tipping culture to me in general is wild. Th th there you go, I can launch into this one again. A, a a European view of American issues that you only hear about online. Tipping culture is crazy to me because tipping is basically not a thing here. Like it is, depending on where you go, you can tip. Obviously, like if you go to a restaurant, you will tip, but like a typical tip at a restaurant is like, you round up to the next five euros or something like that, right? It's like a, I don't know, percentage, it would be like a 2% tip or something like that, right? It's nothing 
Nothing crazy. I might as well check this challenge room, considering I just sent all my HP away, right? That seems like a smart idea, and there you go, I get HP back. So, like, you know, it's not that big of a thing, and then beyond that, you don't really tip anywhere. Like, not even, like, a chain restaurant, you would never tip, like a McDonald's or something like that. It's only, like, a normal sit-down restaurant, maybe. And even there, you know, it's not frowned upon if you don't tip. It's just kind of a nice gesture. You know, you, your bill is like, I don't know, 89, 57, you round it up to 90, right? Something like that. That's about it. You do round up tipping and that's, that's it. Obviously, it's a completely different story in North America because apparently uh, they just don't pay their wait staff and their restaurant workers like a fair living wage for some reason. That's just the standard there. <laughs> so, you know, they rely on the tips. Like the tips that you give go directly to the wait staff instead of uh, to the restaurant or something like that. Or at least a portion of the tip. So it's typical to give like a 20% or something like that. Which is crazy. But at the end of the day, if that's how the restaurant culture works, and it, if at the end of the day it results in just the same price for the meal regardless, right? Like, you end up paying less for the meal technically, but then you make up for it with the tip. Here, the meal just costs more, so you don't have to tip as much. That's whatever, right? Yeah, that's sensible and all that. I, I get it. At the end of the day, the, the amount you pay for the food probably comes out to about the same, unless you're uh, a quote-unquote terrible person and refuse to tip. The, the funniest part is apparently that tipping culture in the US is kind of getting out of control. Because people... Uh, places that have no business asking for tips are starting to ask for tips. Which I think is really funny. <laughs> like, chain restaurants, like subways and stuff, when you check out, apparently you, you, you can pay tips. Um, you know, among other places like that. It, that. That's already really funny to me. But it's not just restaurants. It's a lot of stores, supposedly, where they just ask you for tips or if you want to tip. I, I've The only place I've really commonly encountered people asking for tips was in the UK as well. Apparently in the UK, tipping culture is a bit more common. Supposedly, it seems like. Like, whenever I go to the UK, I end up, uh, you know, if I, if I buy anything, even at like a supermarket, at like a Tesco's or something like that, there's always a tipping option, and I always click past it. And then the, the cashier stares at me with that thousand yard stare, like, are you really? Are you for real, bro? And then I'm like, yeah, bro. Do I look like I'm made of money? If you wanted, if you wanted to earn more money out of this product that you just sold me, you should have just made it more expensive from the get-go. Don't make me have to make the moral decision whether I want to pay more for the product that is listed. No. You list a price for this product, and I'd pay that price in legal tender. Boom. That's that's all that matters. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna actually just be swimming in money, huh? This is this is all we do here? This is absurd. But there's been like a meme going around, you know, like we should start tipping landlords as well, which I think is really, really funny. Because to me, the concept of a tip, the idea of a tip is something that you do as a reward for good service. And the joke is that landlords tend to not do anything or if anything, just fuck shit up even worse. I don't know. I think I'd be a chill landlord. I would just be like, just don't burn down the house, and as long as the tenants don't do that, it'll be fine, right? <laughs> I I think that is all. Like that is the lowest requirement to clear. I don't even know why I'm still playing the IV bag. I literally have max money. <laughs> Matter of fact, I should just buy out the shop. I got no reason not to. I have virtually infinite money. I've discovered a glitch or something. I don't know what's going on. Do I want nightlight? Not really. It tends to fuck you sometimes, but I'll take it anyway. And I'll just buy out everything else. If I- if it ever happens here that, like, tipping culture becomes a thing, beyond just, oh, will you, like, round up for a charity donation or something like that, which I think is probably just a ripoff as well. Do that- do those the uh, round up for charity things actually go to charity? You know, like, the- the penny bin they have at McDonald's where you can, like, throw in your change that you don't want. Does that shit actually go to charity? Because that bin is always completely full. Which to me means they never empty it out, which means they never have the opportunity to donate it to charity. So either there's a lot of very charitable people, or that shit is always full because they never empty it. I don't know which one is the more likely outcome. I think it's probably the one where they don't empty it. I'm not gonna do the rest of the floor. I got, uh... Amnesia, I'm not doing it. Also, my speed was hella low, so... Well, it's better now, but still. Yeah, I'm just leaving. I'm out of here. All right. <laughs> That's the speed problem solved. <laughs> okay. Sure, yeah, I'll... I was gonna play that for a little bit more money, but as it turns out, uh, the only way I'm gonna get money consistently is gonna be IV bag, which is fine, because it's been serving me mighty fine so far. Do I want hard hat? Hard, hard cone head? Eh, it's okay. 
I should have taken it. I should have taken it. I was feeling lucky. I was feeling cheeky, thinking that maybe, perhaps, perchance, the mystery item could be incredible. And I was dead wrong. What the hell? A crawl space? Just like that? For me? I don't even want this. <laughs> I don't even want to, I don't even want to, I'm gonna take it just so it doesn't show up again, because I'm pretty sure if I don't, it will haunt me again in the future. Uh, there's at least a chance. I mean, there's like 800 items in this game, but you know, you never know. Let's fight the boss, it's, yep, yeah, probably Gideon, all right. More HP that I have no use for. Void and Revelation, wow, what a choice. You know, Void is great. The problem is, I'm not gonna get much use out of it right away. I'm probably gonna take Revelation. It has a lot of effects that are much more immediately useful to me. So that's what it's gonna be. Get that charge bar ready. Get yourself an Angelic Brimstone. Wow, that was so little damage. Is my damage output really that bad? It's... I guess it is kind of atrocious, huh? It's it's alright, but like, it's... This would have been a lot worse without Revelation, let's say it like that. There you go, like at least... What the hell? Is it an Arky day? <sighs> Okay, but I'll, I'll speed run. You got me, game. You got me. We're doing the R key run. It's not the prototypical R key run I would be doing because this run is already good as is, but you gave it to me early enough. I don't have any other space for item I'd like to carry right now. So you you got it. Telepills. Okay, I guess I'll fight Gluttony. I'll play this guy as well. Maybe it'll actually pay out. Please? Please? Oh my god, bro. I kind of want to carry no now that I think about it, because it's actually amazing. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of the Arky, so carrying no seems like an amazing idea, because it's going to make it so that I never have a reason to drop it, because I'll never even encounter an active item. That's a good idea, right? All right. Who are we fighting? Clutch? Get High Priestesses. Oh my god, that worked so beautifully. Pro got absolutely annihilated. That was... Incredible. Old bandage. I don't think I want to go old puff. I'll just stick to the normal puff. Who cares, man? Who cares? Man, death's rooms are so much easier compared to the mausoleum. I'm so used to just going old puff. I tend to forget how, like, just how much easier the normal puff really is. It's actually crazy. I've gotten so used to the difficulty level of the old puff that this is always astonishing to me. I'm always a little caught off guard when I do go normal puff and realize just how much easier the game is when you're not being thrown against like the worst rooms in the game over and over again. I should be looking for secret rooms as well. Uh, anybody else like this in Isaac where they don't look for secret rooms not because they suck at looking for them? Like I, I, I know it's probably like right here or maybe it's like I don't know fucking this L room maybe. Like I I'm just too lazy, right? Like, I have the bombs, I have everything I need to be able to find it. I'm just too fucking lazy to look for it, man. It takes a little bit of effort if you don't find it straight away. And then I'm just like, I'm done, man. I don't want to do it no more. Let's check the shop first. Oh, hell yeah. Spider mod. Tears up. That's actually huge. Finally, some damn stat upgrades. Now, it can't be there. What the hell? Wait a minute. Where the fuck is this? Can it be here? There's no way. Did I check? It must be down here. It has to be down here. What an odd place for it. Gulp my trinket. That's huge. I guess. Now I won't ever get active items, but <laughs> I, I guess uh, I have more trinket space. Yay. You know what this means? I can never get death certificate to show up or any other extremely good space for items, but I guess that's the lot I've been granted in life. At the very least, it also cuts out a bunch of dog shit items that would normally show up. So you know what? I can't be too upset. I, I can't be too mad. Wait, does this affect the angelic brim? Oh, it does. It's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> ah, you know, I'll rock it for a bit. Considering I'm using Revelation for most of my damage right now anyway. Oh, another beggar. Another HP upgrade, perhaps? Maybe? Probably. Or a compass, which is also nice. Okay, I know the boss is up here now. Let's destroy your ass real quick. Look at that, man. A revelation. Putting in the money. Beautifully done. Give me that. Marbles. Okay, I guess I got more trinkets I could gulp. Okay, give me a hollow heart. Down we go. Beautifully done. Anything cool in this arcade? Nope. Nothing worth my time, at least. Cool is debatable, and time is uh, money, as we all know. Hasn't there been, like, a scientific, like, somebody actually proved that time is actually money? Like, how, or, like, much how much time is worth? If you were to consider, you know, the time you could spend working, yada, yada, yada. 
how you can spend your time effectively. I think there was like a study like that once. I remember seeing something about that once that like time is actually like scientifically proven. And by scientifically proven, I mean like some one dude did a study and was like, yeah, you could argue that time equals money. This is how much it would be or whatever. Still, that's kind of crazy to think about, right? That time is indeed money to that degree. I'm trying to get through these floors as quickly as possible, get to the dark room, get my free loot, and um, enjoy life. Judgment. Okay, well, I got money. Not like I'm ever getting a reroll, so I'm not taking Bumfriend though. I don't want him. He does not. He hasn't earned the right to exist in this world yet. <laughs> he has to pay me rent or something. I don't know. Bring it back, right? I I I still think I would be a, a cool landlord. I'd be like the cool kind of landlord. You know, the one that shows up at your door uninvited and <laughs> asks you how it's going and uh, whether you're gonna do renovations for free. Definitely. I'm joking, by the way. If I were to ever uh, move out of this house and then rent it out or something, I would probably just uh, be like, don't burn down the house uh, and like, we'll be cool, right? That's that's all there would be to it. You can do whatever the hell you want to it. You can, you know, I mean, if you're going to do large scale modifications, I'd like to know, but like, you can do it. I'm not going to be upset if you want to like drill a hole or something like that. I don't give a shit. Want to like run a new cable? That'll save me time doing it in the future instead. You're gonna make me do the void? Uh, F no, dude. I'm not doing the void on this one. Are you nuts? I'm opening all these chests. I'm grabbing whatever I want, aka this. I, do I run a conjoint piece? I mean, I, I've got no use for the HP anyway. I'll do the floor, even though Curse of the Lost is gonna be a fucking nightmare. I do have, like, two luck, so I could get a few chests at least. And then I'll RP when I'm done with the floor. Oh, cool, another conjoint piece. You know what? I'm kind of happy I took Brother Bobby now. Guillotine? Absolutely not. Not even on a run that's actually going fine and I don't have to worry about get not getting hit. My ass is never picking up the guillotine. Ever again. I have made an, I made an oath. I've sworn an oath now. My oath is that I will never in my life once more pick up the guillotine ever again. Not even in a moment of absolute weakness. You could have... I could have the shittiest fire rate and damage known to man, and I will still not pick up the guillotine. The guillotine is an item that if you can vibe with it, it will do great things for you. I simply do not vibe with it. I refuse to take it, and uh, it, is it is only an act for absolute desperation that I would ever have to take it. Or for a funny challenge, if, in case I want to like put myself through immense amounts of suffering and pain for no real reason other than it would be funny though. Hey, Gimpy. I mean, I've already got all the on-hit items, so might as well, right? We're just gonna Arky. And we go again, baby! We go again. Except this, t uh, this time it's gonna be a lot better! Okay! Alright! Okay, buddy! Now we're talking! Where were you last run when I needed you the most? Magic mushroom, holy crap. I should also be skipping item rooms, by the way. I shouldn't have even gone into that one, but I'm glad I did because I got magic mush. But I should be skipping item rooms for planetariums because I can just get them on the ascent path, right? I'm gonna do the beast anyway, so. This is only gonna be, no, I was gonna say, this is only gonna be trinkets and shit. Oh, that's conjoined, if I could take it. If I had the money, is a king baby for 30 cents? Normally not. However, in this particularly unique case, why would I blow this guy up? I know he doesn't have any money. Oh, well. In this particular case, it is worth it because I get conjoined out of it, so. I'm here to ball. I'm here to have a fun time. Give me that. Okay, last rags is whatever. Literally don't care. Give me the items in this claw game. I dare you. Okay, I guess don't. <sighs> Thanks for Cupid's arrow, at least. Jeez. Uh, I mean, that's an active item. That's crazy. <laughs> I, I, I guess the hard-coded ones like that can still appear. Well, fuck it, give me the credit card. Ah, man. Let's just annihilate Wormwood real quick. I've been to the item room again, by the way. I made a mistake of going to the item room again. I said I was gonna... I literally said I should skip them and go for planetariums. And then absentmindedly immediately walked into one. And I've just now noticed like two minutes later. What's wrong with me, man? Let's see what we got in here. Anything cool? Yeah, sure, I'll take both of these. I have HP for days anyway. Buy the credit card. Uh, do I want either of the... I mean, Deepox is cool, I guess. Ah, fuck it. Give me, give me this stuff, why not? And then, going forward, I will have no money problems ever again. Take me to my secret room. Not like I would want to go to the item room if it uh, was a thing. There's my planet here, matter of fact. Wow, that was quick. Okay, well, I guess I can go to my item rooms now. See what they have in store for me. What's this curse room got? Okay, nothing cool. <laughs> Lovely. Is there anything cool in here? Okay, I'll wait until the ascent to see what the mystery item is in that, and I'll grab Jupiter, I guess. I'm not a fan of it, but... I will take Jupiter. I do like the idea of a more options and of a school bag that is completely useless to me now that I think about it because I cannot get active items. Whoopsie! 
Okay, well, I do want, like, everything in there, though. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna do this right here. Boom. Oh, I didn't get the soul. Let's go. There goes all my HP, but I was getting so many HP upgrades anyway. <laughs> I'm bound to I'm bound to build this again. Greed. Okay, well, that means this uh, basement that he's got down here is going to be where I use all my money slash coupon charges. Okay, well, there's spun. It fucked me with a tears down. I hate you. <laughs> Wow! Okay, yeah, I'm taking Tech X for sure. Jesus. Finally, some good fucking food, man. Something, some, one of the, something Q4 related, you know, that sort of stuff. Some goddamn good food. The charge rate is pretty damn good, too. Let's buy this so I can guarantee that I get the good stuff out of my coupon. There we go, and there we go. Just annihilate mom real quick with this incredible, incredible build you've got. All right, give me another damage up because I want it. Give me something more ideal like a brimstone. Hell yeah, now we're talking, baby. Now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. All it took to get this run going was the Arky at the end of the day, it seems. <laughs> if this is a Chaos card, I'll be mad. Oh my fucking, are you kidding me? Does it work against the beast? I don't actually know if the Chaos card works on the beast. I think it probably does. Oh, there's not combat in there. I guess we'll know. Because I'm probably not going to get any other cards to use or hold on to for all that time. So, yeah, we'll, we'll know when the time comes. Give me that. Thank you very much. Might as well restock a little bit again. Mm, nope, don't care for any of that. Well, let's see what the rune is. Algis? Okay, don't care. <laughs> don't care, don't care. We're heading out. I just want to have a good time, okay? I just want to see what's... I just want to see what this was. Yeah, okay, Flatstone is the best item here, I think. How does this work? What the hell? They bounced! That's so cool! And release like that's so cool, dude. Okay, the flat stone synergies, man. That shit, this shit rules. Okay, I love it. It's really awesome. I, I am a big fan. Anything cool here? Nope, I've already taken it. Right? Oh yeah, forgot about that mod. <laughs> any smashers in chat? Uh, any, any smash fans? No way, no way. Uh, it was the mulligan. Good thing I left that one behind for a while. I mean, I would have taken a mystery item anyway, but still, you know, it's good to know, I guess, that I made the right choice and whatnot. Oh, yeah, sure, explosion immunity. Don't hurt nobody. Uh, and by nobody, I mean me, because I will not be hurt by explosions now. I find it interesting, I guess, the, uh, that the conjoined rings are not, like, fanning out as much as they normally would. To, like, at, like, the 45-degree angle. They're just kind of going straight forward as well, which means I effectively have, like, a triple shot, which is pretty cool, I guess. Let me kill Dogma and Mother, uh, aka the Beast. Your mom calls me that in bed. <laughs> That's why your mama. Ooh. Anything cool in here? A range upgrade. That is very helpful. Very useful. Let's just annihilate Dogma real quick. Yeah, this does a lot of damage expectedly. Um, kind of. It's an R key run. You kind of expect it to, right? You kind of expect it to do a lot of damage. Maybe I'm going to kill him while he's charging me. That's not a common sight. And I'm saving this Chaos card. For the very last thing to fight, aka that big silhouette in the background there. God, the damage, dude. Jesus. When I get an Incubus out of uh, Little Delirium, it gets even crazier. My god. I'm just gonna, like, shoot these uh, while he's not even spawned yet, so he takes damage as soon as he comes onto the screen. Like, the very moment he is capable of taking damage, he will die. Look at that, man. <laughs> Poor Def don't even stand no chance, man. He's getting pummeled into the ground. He didn't even get to do an attack. All right, let's see if let's see if it actually works. Let's see if you can use the Chaos card against the Beast or not. If not, we will just fight her the old-fashioned way. Nope, you cannot. Okay. I assumed as much. I think, yeah, this was the only other boss besides Delirium that you cannot use it on. That being said, look at the amount of damage I'm doing. This is not even a problem. I can actually shoot even faster than it should be. I don't need to, like, you know, hold the rings for very long. There you go. That was an incredible run. I have enjoyed myself, and I hope you have too. I need to always cancel that cutscene because it's so loud. <laughs> it's a great cutscene, but it's also very loud. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed yourself. I have as well. I'll catch you again tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye.